What is up ladies and genitals, four eyes in here coming at you, coming through, and Call of Duty Vanguard's free multiplayer weekend is almost at its end. If you have been playing Vanguard or if you have tried Vanguard this weekend, what are your thoughts on the game so far because I am curious. So far I finished leveling up all my submachine guns to level 70 and I am working on getting them all gold so I can unlock diamond and be one step closer to unlocking atomic camo. But that is not why I made this video. Today I just want to start the discussion on why does Call of Duty suck now or maybe the standards for Call of Duty is so high that the community is complaining about a perfectly good game. It's interesting to me to see that the recent Call of Duty titles like Vanguard and even Black Ops Cold War have had free to play weekends where people can try out the game for free to see what it's like to play Call of Duty because I don't remember any of the old Call of Duties having a free multiplayer weekend. Maybe because I'm a boomer and I just don't remember long ago that OG Call of Duty games like COD 4, World at War, MW2, BO1, MW3, and Black Ops 2 had a free trial. I just remember that you had to buy the game to actually play it. So recently it was reported by multiple news outlets that Call of Duty Vanguard has tied with the original Call of Duty Modern Warfare which is COD 4 for the lowest launch sales in 14 years. It actually sold less than Call of Duty World at War which released back in 2008. That was 13 years ago guys. That's older than some kids playing Fortnite right now. And compared to last year's COD game which is Black Ops Cold War, in the UK sales dropped by 40%, Vanguard is down 26% in physical sales and down 44% in digital sales compared to Cold War. That is absolutely insane considering Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War was made during a pandemic and was only worked on for about 6 months if I'm not mistaken. If I'm wrong you guys can correct me on how long Treyarch worked on Cold War but I know it was only for a short time. And even with that short time period Black Ops Cold War was more complete than Vanguard. Compared to Vanguard I actually preferred the multiplayer in Black Ops Cold War. It felt the most traditional to me when you compare it to Modern Warfare 2019. Team. For Call of Duty multiplayers in the last 3 years, I would say my favorite is Cold War followed by Vanguard with Modern Warfare 2019 last. The order could change between Vanguard and Cold War, it just depends on how Sledgehammer fixes their game. I know Modern Warfare 2019 gets a lot of love and I have 13 days played on Modern Warfare 2019 but as someone who's played the original Modern Warfare COD 4, World at War, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2, World War 2, Black Ops 4, Modern Warfare 2019, Cold War and now Vanguard. Modern Warfare 2019's multiplayer was my least favorite from the skill based matchmaking, Timbaland boots when you were moving, doors, mounting, going back to kill streaks, fast time to kill, matches going to time limit, camping and revenge spawns, the list goes on and on. It confuses me how much people really liked Modern Warfare 2019. Yes, the Modern Warfare engine has been the best feeling and the visuals is amazing, but the gameplay on 6v6 was one of the worst, if not the worst to me. I think people who say that Modern Warfare 2019 is the best Call of Duty game is either solely focusing on visuals, maybe it was their first COD game and only COD game, maybe they're trolling, maybe they love Warzone, or they just had the best time playing with their friends during the lockdown because again it was my least favorite COD multiplayer wise. I know everyone is entitled to their opinion and this is mine. I just didn't enjoy it as much compared to the other Call of Duties that I played. My top 5 COD multiplayers in history would go like this. In number 1 I have Black Ops 2 because it felt the most balanced to me with the score streaks and weapons, slayers got rewarded but also objective players. The only thing missing in Black Ops 2 was a nuke. Followed by Modern Warfare 2 in second place, Modern Warfare 2 was the opposite where nothing was balanced and everything was OP but it was just so much fun. In third place I have Modern Warfare 3 which was another broken but fun Call of Duty. In fourth I have Black Ops 1 and in fifth I have World at War because of how chaotic it was. COD 4 to Black Ops 3 was considered to be the golden age of Call of Duty where the franchise was in its prime. Now COD sales are dipping. The big question is why though? Personally I definitely think it has something to do with the thick skill based matchmaking. In my mind that is the main culprit. 
the last Call of Duty game to have regular matchmaking where ping was king is Black Ops 4. The game didn't receive a lot of praise by the community, but I think it wasn't the matchmaking's fault, but the quick and sudden innovation the game came out with. Like for the first time ever, we had specialist superpowers where you could use Seraph's Annihilator to wipe a whole team, or use Torx barbed wire to cut off high traffic areas. Plus, you had to manually heal yourself after every gunfight, and don't even get me started on the acoustic sensor. Even with all of that mess though, I would gladly play Black Ops 4 over any Call of Duty game in the skill-based matchmaking era. Another reason why Call of Duty sales are dipping at launch is because the games are just not complete at launch. Just look at Vanguard for example, the game literally copied and pasted Modern Warfare 2019, adjusted the footsteps, maps, pacing, perks, weapons, and added destructible walls, and that's it. They didn't even bother to check everything that was broken with the game. Zombies was a huge fail too, with the majority of the Call of Duty Zombies community hating the game for zombies. It's not only Vanguard releasing incomplete, the year before Black Ops Cold War was also incomplete, then it improved with every season. I hate this model though where we buy a game and it takes about another 6 months where the game is actually worth the price of admission. Let's take Black Ops 2 for example, when the game released it had a large map pool for multiplayer. There were a few OP weapons like the FAL and DSR that had to get nerfed later on causing David Vonderhaar to get death threats. It even had a decent league play for competitive players, good campaign and for zombies they had transit, bus depot, farm and town. This is what you got at launch, not after 6 months. You know what you got in Black Ops 2 after 6 months? You could buy $2 camos like weaponized 115, aqua camo, and amazing DLCs like Mob of the Dead, Origins, Die Rise. For multiplayer, you could buy maps like Hydro, Magma, and get a free SMG, which was the Peacekeeper. There was so much content with a DLC at an affordable price, no skill-based matchmaking, and the games got so much love with how much passion these developers were putting into their product. I'm actually tearing up a bit just thinking about how much I took the old COD games for granted. You know, I was a young, naive kid thinking that COD would be like that forever, but no, I was wrong. They destroyed the motto of ping is king, so instead of me matching up with a person with the best connection, I have to match up with someone with similar stats even if they are across the world. So instead of playing a match with a smooth connection, I get packet burst. This also makes playing with lower skill friends in a party a one-sided experience. No more player counts, no more lobby leaderboards, so you could check everyone's KD and score per minute in the lobby you were in. So you could decide whether you wanted to play against the players you were matched with. If you saw a high KD like a 3.0, you would back out. Or if you wanted to challenge yourself and see what it was like, you would stay to see if the players you were going against were the real deal. Now lobbies get disbanded every match, which killed being able to create rivalries or even lifetime friends. You can't even create your own emblem anymore. Actually, the more I think about custom emblems that you made by yourself, the more I remember the toxic and inappropriate emblems at that time. I actually understand why the developers removed that feature. But all the things I listed was the foundation that Call of Duty stood on. Now it's skill based matchmaking or engagement optimized matchmaking where the team balancing is horrible, where one game it's ultra competitive, where the match can go either way, or if you're on a winning streak, your teammates will be a complete bots. And when you're on a losing streak, you get the best players on your team. Where it really doesn't matter if you're playing or not, since your teammates will hard carry you to a win anyway. Just so you can buy more in-store cosmetics like anime blueprints, Rambo, and tracer packs. As a longtime COD player and fanboy, it hurts my heart seeing the direction that the franchise is going. However, there is times where the game just shows me a glimmer of hope like when I still see people in game chat, even with discord and party chat available. It reminds me of the good old days, I think Vanguard will improve over time. I still stand by what I have said about this game that it is an incomplete product. I look forward to seeing how multiplayer and zombies improve over time because I think with the Modern Warfare 2019 engine, zombies could be legendary. Does Vanguard deserve to have one of the worst COD launch sales? I would say right now, yes it does. 
but it's not like the game is unplayable, it's playable and fun at times. What bothers me the most is how Modern Warfare 2 2022, not Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, was already being talked about before Vanguard even released. I am going to predict this one year before it even comes out. I think Modern Warfare 2 2022 is going to be the best selling Call of Duty game in history topping Modern Warfare 2019. Or maybe it will be right under Modern Warfare 2019. Just the name Modern Warfare will get people to buy the game. Plus, the pendulum swings in two directions. If Vanguard is the worst selling COD game in 14 years, then it has to swing the other way where I believe Modern Warfare 2 2022 will break some sort of sales record since sky's the limit compared to Vanguard's launch. If you reached the end of the video, thank you for sticking around. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment the reason why you think Call of Duty is going downhill, or maybe you think Call of Duty is going the right direction. Let me know down below. Other than that, namaste my friends, and I will talk to you all next time.